So are you thinking about making a move to High Point, North Carolina? Well, here are a few reasons that you may want to reconsider moving here. Are you ready to dive into the video? Well, you stay tuned. I got you covered. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are going to dive into some reasons why you may not want to move to High Point, North Carolina. So let's get started. So let's jump right into it. And I'm sure everyone wants to know about this and that's the crime rates. So High Point has a higher than average crime rate. Bestplaces.net has High Point's um, crime rating higher than the national average, both in violent crimes and personal crimes. So using the stats from bestplaces.net, High Point's violent crime is 23.8 and the U.S. average is about 22.7 and High Point's property crime is about 52.4 and the um, average is like 35. So I'm speaking very broadly here, but crime trends usually are higher in certain areas in any city. And I always refer my clients to look at websites like crimemapping.com to get an idea of what they can expect in areas that they're interested in and they can kind of gauge that area to see if there's a lot of crime and if they would be comfortable living there. Now, if they do find out that after they plug in the address and they find out that they're not totally comfortable with living in that area, we can you know, look at other places, other um, areas in the city. And you know, if that price point falls in line with those areas, then we can even look in other cities just to give you options if you're a little uncomfortable with, with the area once you do your, um, do your research. But I will say this, and I'll also tell all of my clients this, crime happens everywhere and in every city. And there's always certain areas in almost every town that has more crime than the other parts of the town. So, you know, you just gotta weigh that and think about that for a little bit. But moving on to number two, and that's the furniture market. So the furniture market happens twice a year. High Point is known for being the furniture capital of the world. And twice a year, in April and in October, it has about 100,000 additional people that come to town for this furniture market. Now High Point's overall population is a little over 100,000 people. So think about the side, the town doubling in size when you have that furniture market. So with more people, you will experience more traffic and the cost of things are going to be a little higher due to the influx of people visiting the area. So one thing to consider is that when the market does come to town, many residents will rent out their houses because there is not a lot of places for the um, furniture market goers to stay. So that could be a source of income for you. You know, as people come in, you can charge them, you know, a good little bit, and then you can rent out your house. Um, you can go like to the beach. You know, if you work remote, you can go to the beach, you go somewhere and have a good time. Let the furniture market goers, you know, rent out your house. You make a little income and life is good. But not everybody likes to do that, but that's always an option. So one more thing to consider is restaurants and stores will be a lot busier than normal. With so many people visiting the area um, for the market, restaurants and stores tend to be extremely busy. Um, with market goers and staff. So that's just something that you know you need to keep in mind. It's only twice a year, less than 14 days per year. So it's not a huge amount of time, but it's just something to think about. People that live in High Point, they don't necessarily love it, but it's, it's manageable. But before we continue um, our chat about the weather in High Point, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Lynette and I am your YouTube realtor here in beautiful Greensboro, Winston-Salem in High Point, North Carolina. So if you are considering moving or just you know thinking about purchasing a home in the High Point or the surrounding areas, I would love to help. Let's schedule a quick call to discuss your home buying options and um and see how i can help you but let's get back to the video so let's talk about the weather and i know you guys are probably tired of me talking about the weather here in north carolina but it's important and i want to make sure that all of you are prepared when considering a move to the area so we tend to have um, very hot and muggy summers it get really hot really sticky yucky 
you know, so that's just something that you have to prepare for and be ready to handle in the summer months. Another thing to consider is the potential for severe weather. So in the spring and summer, it's not uncommon to have those severe thunderstorms. We even experience um, tornadoes during the spring and summers, but while they're not common, you know, as your summer thunderstorms, they can happen in the area. So moving on to the winter, in High Point, if there is any mention of snow or ice, the entire town shuts down. If you have kids, they ain't going to school. You know, if the grocery stores are bare, there's no bread, there's no milk, there's, there's nothing. <laughs> I created a video about the North Carolina weather. So to check that video out, click somewhere up here, but after you finish this one. But another thing about winter is that we don't get snow, we do get ice. We don't get a lot of it, but to me, ice is more dangerous than snow because you have your down power lines and down trees. And if that happens, power can go out for days. So it may be a good idea to invest in a generator. Personally, I don't have one, but my parents do. So if we have bad weather on the way, I'm packing up. I'm a mom of five and I'm not going to be in this house with all these kids with no power, no iPads, no phones, no TV, no thank you. So me and my husband will pack them up and we'll head to my parents' house. Don't let this scare you. You know, winters are kind of hit and miss. Ice and snowstorm don't happen every winter. And we don't always lose power, but it's just something to think about. So and last on our list is the nightlife in High Point. So we have to address a common concern among those that are used to the bustling, you know, nightlife scene. This city is limited with its nightlife options. High Point has its unique features. Those looking for a wide variety of late night entertainment venues, you ain't, you might not find what you're looking for here. So if you're someone who does enjoy the vibrant club scene or a diverse selection of bars, open until the wee hours of the morning, High Point ain't gonna do it. So while High Point does have some cozy spots in the area, it's not gonna give you that wide range of nightlife options that you're looking for. You may have to go to um, some of the larger cities around like Greensboro, Winston-Salem, may even have to drive to Raleigh or Charlotte if you're really into that nightlife scene because you're really not going to get much. I mean, there are some things to do, but you're not going to get much in High Point. It's a little limited. So when you're considering High Point um, as a place to live, it's important to consider this. So those are my four things that you may want to know or keep in mind if you are considering a move to High Point, North Carolina. While there are a few drawbacks to High Point, it can be a, a great place to live. So if you are considering a move to the area, please reach out. I would love to chat with you about what High Point has to offer as well as the surrounding areas. So thank you so much um, for sticking around to the end. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comment section um, below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thank you so much and I will see you next week. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.